Now, I grew up as an athlete, and I love the Olympics. But one of the things I hate about the Olympics is the fact that every time there's an Olympics or there's a World Cup events, we always get this. We always get when the women of the Arab nations participate in sports, that they are fully clothed, that they have their hijabs on, and they are participating and going after their, the, going trying to win their particular event. And then we always get this comparison of the non-Arab women, in this particular case is beach volleyball or it might be track and field, where those women are more scantily clad in their dress. And then you get the comments. These women are so beautiful in being able to participate in their sport and, and keep their modesty and keep hold strong to their religion. And that's great. That's great. These Egyptian women still participating in these sports, wearing the gear that they're wearing is perfectly fine. I have no problem with that. I don't particularly care. Now, I don't like beach volleyball. It's boring to me. But if the women choose to wear bikinis during beach volleyball, volleyball that's their prerogative as well. Who are we to judge on what they wear? But here's an interesting thing. In the comments, of course, all the Muslim men were saying, oh, this is so wonderful. This is so amazing. I love it. These Arab women respecting Allah and covering themselves, not like these infidels and so on and so forth. But these hypocritical bastards, when I was in Dubai in 91, 92, and this is before Dubai became all shiny, you had the little Middle Eastern hotel right smack dab in the middle of the city. And you go to the middle of the Middle Eastern Hotel and uh, Corporal Giordano was like, oh yeah, it's a great, they got a, a, a little restaurant upstairs. They got these Vietnamese women singing and I'm telling you, they sound just like American women until they start talking. And as a little 19 year old who's never experienced things like that, I was like, let's go see it. Cause I don't believe it. And when we get to the little Middle Eastern hotel, we get in there and the bellhop says, so which kind of room you guys want? And it was about seven of us in the elevator. You want an African room? You want a European room? You want an Asian room? You want an Arab room? And basically it was like the massage parlor that uh, Jackie Chan took Chris Tucker to in the rush hour two. You had all these women that was of that look on that floor, because the European room also had Americans and Australians, so American is European is white, and that's American is white to them too. African rooms all black women, you know. Indian room floor is all, and I say room, but Indian floor is all people, women from India. Arab room all women from Arab, the Arabian nations, and so on and so forth. So of course the non-married and some of the married guys got off on different rooms. I was married. I went to the top. <laughs> I went on, went up to the top, listened to the women sing. But I found it very interesting. It was very fascinating to me at 19 years old to see that. But there were Arab men who was also on the elevator. And it was getting off, going to these different rooms. So the hypocrisy is that you want your women that you want to marry to look like this. But all the while, you're going off and getting with the Arab women who look dressed like that. To, get, to gain prostitution. You read throughout your Bible how uh, Judah got down with the temple priest. He thought she was a temple prostitute, but then was mad that Tamara was pregnant. The hypocrisy of it all is what bothers me. That they claim this. And, and when I was living in Europe, I would see these Arab men come to Europe to party. And they would want to party with these scantily clad women. But on the, this post, oh, yes, these women are so great, so great. Why don't you treat all women the same way? If you think that your women should be dressed this way, then shouldn't all women be dressed that way? And then the Americans were like, oh, yeah, this is so wonderful. These women are so beautiful. You don't know what they look like under all that. They may look like some scallywags, for all you know. But they were like, oh, it's so beautiful, it's so beautiful. It's beautiful either way. Because what it shows is freedom of choice for the most part. I believe this woman has somewhat of a freedom of choice, but we know that some women's sports in order to garner attention, 
that they started wearing more less clothing because they started selling sex before they sold the athleticism. And we know it's a sad thing because mostly men are the ones who purchase tickets for sports. If women were supporting these sports, then there would be no need for them to dress that way. Wouldn't have wouldn't be a need. Wouldn't need, would have never been a need. I love women's volleyball over men's volleyball because the women will volley more than the men will. So I love the athleticism and the competition of it all. But women's volleyball would have never started wearing the little spandex booty pants if they weren't trying to garner attention for their sport, purely based on their athleticism. But women weren't supporting them. Men were supporting them. And since men were there, they dressed, the less they dressed, the more men supported it. It's the basic nature of man, of a man, put it that way. So it's somewhat of a choice that women dress the way they dress. It's a sad thing. But if you want to cure it, women support the sports more. Now, these women somewhat have freedom of choice. It is hot as all get out out here have somewhat of a freedom of choice. And maybe that's why she's wearing that, because it's hot as hell. Uh, we got an index of 105 to 110 today. But anyway, these women were brought up in a culture that said that they have to wear this. And when you're brought up in a culture, culture where you believe that you have to wear this according to your beliefs so that you can get, gain entryway into heaven and not go to hell, you really didn't make a free will choice that this is what you want to wear. Some of the men in the comments were just like, well, who won? It doesn't matter who won. Why should it matter who? It does matter who wins. Because clothing can make a difference as far as depending upon the sport as to who wins and who loses. When you get to this level of competition, it is inch by inch. It is milliseconds that determines the winner. If these women were in the swimming competitions, they would never win. Their clothing would hold them down so much if they were in the diving competition you wouldn't be able to see the fullness of the dive because it wouldn't work if they were running track and field like this there's absolutely no way they're going to win because one they're wearing heavier clothing two they uh don't won't have the freedom to of movement that they would that women would have in their track outfits that they wear now i do think they go a little too far but hey that's what they want to wear that's what they want to wear In the long jump, can you imagine she jumps and then a piece of her clothing hits the sand before her body hits the sand? They're going to count where her clothes hit. You see what I'm saying? It matters. These women out here playing beach volleyball under the Eiffel Tower, there's no coverage, no shade. It's hot in Paris right now. They are losing electrolytes much faster than the other woman. They are going to tire quick, quicker and running in that sand. That's why I hate beach volleyball. They're running in that sand. Me personally playing it. But they're going to lose. But people were jumping up. Oh, it's just so beautiful. Who won? Who lost? It matters. And for the women that I've met who used to be Muslim, who walked away from Islam, they stopped wearing this. And they wear clothes that are more comfortable to them. And they start wearing clothes that they feel is more acceptable to their ideas of what they want to wear. So they're truly not free to choose. They're wearing it because they have to, but they've convinced themselves that this is what they have to wear. And they keep losing. But hey, each to their own, to each their own. I would wish, I would rather women were able to just be great in their sport without having to dress a certain way. But like I said, you want to change that? Then hey, Women support the sport more. Right now, like Portia, Portia Wood, Wood, uh, Wood, Woodman, New Zealand, rugby, whoo, that's my girl right there because of her athleticism. She be trucking them girls. Y'all need to check her out. But hey, always remember you gotta free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey, good vibrations.